GX75. John freaking Deere. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Bilsif. Let's see what's really going on. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Bilsif. I'm your host, Bilsif. I got my old GX75 up front here because, you know, she needs a little bit of TLC. The deck bearings are gone on her. So I want to get the deck off, see if we can't find the bearings for her. Because it sounds like it's about ready to explode. And we don't need her to explode. So I don't know if this thing's a quick release or not. I'm freaking hoping so because I don't have to go get help. But by the looks of it, there's a pin on the other side there. And hopefully we got a couple pins. That it looks like might drop. Hey! Yeah! You know what I'm saying? So let's get into her and we'll see what's what. And I'm pretty sure I found pins already. So let's try to roll around the other side here. Oh, and see if we can't get a deck or two out of the way. So back in here, there should be a pin, which there is. There it is right there. So we'll pull that out. We'll push the pin out. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it just lifts off this way. Maybe, maybe not. Something happens. We'll get the front pins out first. We'll try it. Oh, come over here with me. So there should be a pin over here. There's one. There should be a pin down here somewhere. Oh, found it. There's one. So now this should come out, maybe. Might need a screwdriver. Here it is. So we'll slide this out, maybe. Something's happening, kind of, sort of. Hold on, let's get something a little bigger in there. There it is. So there's one, and this might be two. Oh, there we go, there's two. So there's those, which are pretty nice and big, actually. So that dropped the front part of the deck. I gotta fill up my tire right over here too because it's got a flat spot there. So when I get on the hard road, she's a little cocky. I got some grease fittings up there too, I noticed. So that's a good thing. So let's try to get around this side here and we'll see if we can't get the back piece off. Now I did pull a pin back there, but I don't know what's going on to be honest with you. I almost gotta lay down. Oh, there it is. All you do is pull it, I guess. Holy dicks. Captain? Aw, oh, dick. Well, that was easy. So I see there's one more pin right up here for the old, whatever that is. So that's probably the engage, engage part. So we'll get that pin off, kind of. Maybe I'll have to go to the other side and thinking this thing give it the reach around. Oh, there we go, I got the reach around. Look at that, I even fucking snap fooder on the old freaking doodad. So we'll get that off. There's a washer on there. So I'll get that off and then that should lift out. Oh, dick, I just lost another washer. But that's it for that. So that part's off. So now all we could do is remove a belt. And by the looks of it, to remove a belt, we just gotta do that bracket right there. Unless I can really yank on her. See if I can't get her to come off. Oh, dick. She's windy, Jim. How come this belt's all cocked over? I have a bad feeling I'm on the pulley wrong in that. I think it should be on the other side. Cause that belt is chewed to rats assholes. Holy. So let's get a wrench here. We'll see if we can get that off. <clears throat> I got the right side the first time. What's the chance of that happening? That never freaking happened. Freak, no it don't. I need one man shop over here to give me a hand with this, bud. Two of we're not in lockdown, you come give me a hand. You're good at this kind of stuff. Don't forget to check them out. One man shop. Why wouldn't you? He's been trucking along like I have and not giving up hope. That's what you gotta do sometimes. Don't you, bud? Freaking right, you do. It looks like this one here is gonna be a little bit of a dick. Cause I'm not too sure how that comes off. So we're just gonna pull it off like that. And then of course this, like I said, that's the engage L bearing O. So let's go on the other side and we'll see if we can't get it off. All right, so under here is this doodad. Can you see? Probably not, because I can't see. Here, can you see over that? Barely. So if you pull on this, that disengages the belt, and then it should come right on out of there. So now let's go back to the other side. Up, down, back, forward, in, out. Up, Captain. Pull it. There you go. So now we should be able to get the deck right on out of here. It looks like from the other side. The only reason why I say that is because of the big shoot thing in my bar that's on here. Have a night, Jimmy Crooked. Just like I am. Belt over top, good. Roll it. Oh, I can't lift this machine right now. Why? Where's my jack? We should really slap a fucking oil change into this. I'll start with two before I put her back together. It's been a while. Careful. She's got the lean to. All right, so now we should be able to slide it out. There we go. Looks like a deck. Oh, you're right, looks like a deck. Why oh, wouldn't it look like a deck? Yeah. What? All right, so before I was really interrupted by the daughter, we were able to get the deck out. Stop talking until I get the off camera set up. 
So before I was rudely interrupted by the daughter, we only get the deck out. So now I'm just gonna take my impactor and I'm gonna take that bolt out. Because this is where the bearing is that I think is triggered. There we go. Nothing like a good impact gun, Jim. So that's off. So now I'm not too sure how hard that is to get off, but we're gonna freaking find out. We should probably get this out of the way too, I'm thinking. Now it is spring loaded, so we're gonna pull this spring off. That bearing feels good. Ah, that pole should be changed. It's kind of dickered. And this one feels good. Holy, look at that thing, Jim. So we'll get ourselves something to see if we can't get that thing loose and get her the hell off there. Throw a hammer, why wouldn't we? What do you think? Oh, dick. We gotta get that thing out of there. It's definitely cocking us over. Careful. There we go. So that's out of the way. Now when you're doing a pulley removal, you want to make damn sure you don't bend the pulley. So I always go from the inside. It's coming, I think. Sure is. There you go. Not too shabby, eh? So now, if we look at this thing, it looks like somebody's already had it out once before because there's a bolt missing in there. So let's get the spring out of the way. There we go. And now, we can zing these bolts out. But we gotta flip the deck. Well, that sucks, dick. But it is what it is. Hopefully we can do this on our hands and knees. There we go. So now let's get the blade off there. Oh yeah, look at the play in that. That's a weapon there. That thing's ready to take the diggy balls off. Holy, not good. There it is, we got her. So we'll get this blade off. Now it should be backwards, so that's tightening. Your blades are normally a backwards thread, normally. That's definitely a backwards thread. I was going the wrong way the first time. And we're gonna have to order a new one of them because I've sharpened that more times than we can shake a stick at. So now we'll get these bolts out. Oh, damn, look at that thing. Nope, yep. I'll tell you one thing, the old deck on this prick's pretty good shape. Well, it's been stored to site every year, that's probably why. But hopefully I'll be able to just give her one of them. Oh, dick. We have a spinner. Oh, no. What are we gonna do, boys? Spinning. Looks like we might be breaking that one off. I have the technology. Dickered old cock smacker itself. Frank. Grinder. Jim. So if you're wondering, these are one of those bolts that don't have a head on the other side. They're like a lock in. So that's why I can't. I just kind of cut her off just like that. And it's done. See, that's how we roll around here. There you go, Jim. So now that's off, probably clean that up. And that should just knock right out of there. Just like you never even knew it was there. There you go. So now that that's out, see if we can get her apart. By well, the looks of it, it's kind of pressed in. So I'm thinking that, uh, oh, it's got like a little lock washer thing in bobber. So I'm thinking if we pull that, come here for a minute. So by the looks of it, it's got like a little kind of a lock ring. So if I can get out the uh, set pin, which I'm not sure if it comes out or not. We're gonna find out. Should, let me see if I can't get something to give it a tap with. Where's my hammer? You see that? Keep an eye on that because it's pretty quick. Things happen faster out here. Now I should put the bolt back on that so I don't cock it over. It is moving, I'm pretty sure. Maybe. Get a pair of channel locks on there. Then you can take your screwdriver, put her in there and give her a little pull. And as you can see, something's happening. Very good like too. Give her a little tap maybe. There we go. There you go, it's out. So I can go aside for a minute. And now this can come back off. This ring can come off. And we should be able to just go straight down through. Let's put a little bit of a threaded nut ball on here. Give her a couple taps. Is it moving? Sure is. We're getting her. Let's make sure this still turns. Sure does. She's gonna be tight all the way, Jim. Haven't damaged her yet. So now that we got that out that far, she's gotta get her out the rest of the way. Oh. So now we're gonna need the vise. So we'll put her in a vise like so. Actually, we'll put her in a vise like so. There. Do I have enough room to knock her out? Just. So we'll take a, a bit. Just keep tapping on her. Till she's out. Okay, we're bottomed out there. So we're gonna move it off to the side some more. All right, right about there. Holy cow, she's going, Jim. There we go. So now we got that out, 
as you can see, this thing's in really good shape still. We'll wire wheel that up right now and we'll get it cleaned up. All right, so that's good to go back in. So now what we need to do is we need to get the bearings out of this damn thing. Yeah, this thing's it should come out. Okay, so I'll try to get it up higher so you can see. Let's stick you in the cupboard. All right, can you see? Probably not. There you go. So in here, there should be a crush ring, which we should be able to get out with a pick tool, which is right in here. So you just gotta get a hold of her just right, and there it comes. We need a screwdriver. Come on, baby. There it is. Oh, almost had her. Come on. There we go. Okay. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, girl. Come on there, dickhead. Oh. There we go. So there's a ring, which we'll probably be able to reuse. So we'll clean it up. Sure, I'm glad I'm changing the bearing because they're deckered. Clean that out a little bit. That bearing should pop out of there with a little bit of help. We'll get that out of the way. Flip her over and there should be another ring on this side. Oh, no, this is a one-way bearing push. So actually we can drive both bearings right out. All right, so now we should be able to just take this and hit them on out. Oh, look at that, boys. There's a ring that goes between them. Where'd the other bearing go? Oh, yeah. So it looks like there is another swing in here, but it's down a little further. So we'll get that one out. I knew we were hitting something as soon as I bought her out. You can feel her stop, and then you're like, oh, dick. So we just gotta knock that bearing back down just to take a little pressure off that ring. There we go. Now we can get that ring out, no problem. Here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. See it? Little ring in there, we gotta get that out. Oh, I just got shit all over the lens. How you doing, hey? Just cocking you right over. Let's get this ring out of here. Once we get her started, she'll be mint. Can you believe me? Probably not. Ooh, careful. You see? Man, that's a tough one to get out. There's absolutely no holes to get a hold of her either. Comment down below if you have an easier way, because I'm sure you do, especially if you're a farmer. You'll know exactly how to get this out without wrestling it like I am. Careful. Okay, we got her down. So now let's knock her out. There we go. So now we just gotta grab it so it doesn't go back in. Can we do it? Moment of truth. Sure can. There she is. So we get that ring out. Like I see, as you can see, there's nowhere to put a little tooth in there to grab it, so that's why. So now we'll wipe this down real quick and then we'll push the other bearing out of here. There we go. Bearings are out, Jim. Oh yeah. Oh God, yeah, those bearings have had it. So we gotta take a look at these bearings and hopefully be able to call Canada Bearing tomorrow and get a couple bearings, or Monday, sorry. Hopefully there's a number on them. If not, we're gonna have to mic them. Yeah, I don't see a number. I wonder if we should just repack them. Nah, we'll see if we can get a couple bearings. I'm sure I can get them. We're living in an industrial area, so. We'll set them aside, and that's it for that. So there you go, this is just a beginning of a video. There'll be a part two of putting it back together. But I just wanted to show you that. That's how you get the bearings out of the drive, on the deck, on a John Deere. And I'm sure they're all pretty much the same. And I'm sure they're all pretty much the same. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification. And now I've irritated my leg, so it's not 100% yet. But it is what it is. Love you all. And you know what to do for now.